Hey, happy, healthy, alternative mom here. <laughs> it's a hot day out. I'm out on my porch with my French. She just, she just does French things. Sunblock on my face, trying to, trying to keep it, you know, fresh. Um, so yeah, I put out a video earlier today about just liking what you like not being embarrassed or feeling like you have to answer to anybody else for liking things that maybe, you know, you might get made fun of about. Basically just once again being happy within your own skin. So right now I kind of want to talk about something because I had a little idea um, thinking about the sad, sad travesty. Oh, let me just sneeze. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, I was going to sneeze. A sad travesty in my heart that is the end of Toys R Us. Now, I don't know how you all feel about this, but to me, the idea of being able to walk into a toy store and just be like in Willy Wonka land for just a moment, like I still do it now. I have a five year old, but like, I don't even care if she's there or not. I'll go in there just to like, it's just fun. Now I understand a lot of people are like, Bleh. Toys R Us is too expensive. Commercialism, plastic, all this stuff. I get it. I do. You know, there's pros and cons to it. But just let's let's look at it a bit more. Ba look at it more basically. Just what a sweet idea to be able to like walk around in like a fantasy world and like enjoy all that goodness. Hold on, kids. Why? What'd you say? I see a cow that's green. Okay, don't touch it, just look at it. Finding bugs. Don't hurt it either, okay? No, they don't bite, but they could have like disease or something. Just don't, just look at him. A disease it's not good just just look at him and don't hurt him okay anyway where was I yeah make him a home that's a great idea so like come on like how nice is it to like reward your kids and like I get it other stores like Walmart Target Toys R Us I mean not Toys R Us <laughs> other places sell toys but like Think about what Christmas is going to be like this year, or any holiday or any birthday. Well, I'm just going to use Christmas as an example, whether you celebrate or not. Just think, just think of, like, do you really think Amazon and Target are going to be able to handle, like, Black Friday? Like, I hope they give more jobs to UPS workers and FedEx workers because, holy crap, are they really going to be able to handle that? Okay, caterpillar catastrophe. Sorry. Anyway, so um, ugh, losing my train of thought ugh, about this caterpillar going on over here. Just making him a home. <laughs> anyway, so you know that's one thing I thought of. Like, what is going to be the craziness come the end of the year? Now, again, commercial society, I get it, but at the end of the day, a lot of people in America partake in that event Christmas Black Friday not even Christmas Hanukkah whatever you celebrate I'm gonna say the holidays in general right birthdays I mean if you don't celebrate birthdays then you not have to worry about it but let's just not get so PC about everything let's just look at it as, as a whole like just in general like your kid gets a great report card and you want to reward them you want to buy them something I mean yeah I guess just order it online but then you're returning stuff you got to wait for it like just that every once in a while we want that instant gratification right we want sweets we go get ice cream we're craving like some salty meat we go get some barbecue ribs you know, whatever your thing is you know tofu you know we love the vegetarians too we're all good but um, just Let's let's stay on track. Like that whole aspect of like not being able to like rummage around a toy store. Like for me, like I'm a freaking Toys R Us kid. Like I want that. And mind you, another aspect of all of this is I don't let my daughter watch commercials. Okay, 
we watch PBS, we watch Netflix, but she doesn't watch like Disney Channel, Nick Jr. Very rarely do I put that kind of stuff on. One, because it's not as educational in my opinion. And I, you know, I don't like the idea of commercials. I think that it just kind of beats things into your kid's head. Boring for a young mind. And some of the shows on those other channels, you know, they're, although fun and entertaining, they're a little mindless, in my opinion. Um, and it's not just my opinion, it's the opinion of, you know, I'm sure a bunch of us out there. But there's nothing wrong with Nick Jr., nothing wrong with Disney Channel. My daughter's just really young still, so I choose, this, that's what I choose as a parent. So she doesn't watch commercials, so she doesn't even know what's out there. So all her little friends do, so to keep her in the loop and to let her go explore is us we go to the toy store and that's how she finds the things that she wants and she's doing so out of her own imagination not what she sees on tv and thinks she wants ladies and gentlemen it's the best freaking thing my kid doesn't ask for the darn thing she asks for things that she knows about like for instance shall remain nameless one of her teachers well, i already said teacher Someone in her life said that their kid only eats peanut butter and fluff sandwiches and I can't get them off of that kick and they're very picky eaters. Who introduced them to the fluff? Raise your hand, you know? They're only going to, you know, and it's not sheltering them, it's just when they're that little, you're still in charge, like you don't have to put other people in charge, you know? TV, commercials, teachers, whatever the case may be, you're still the parent at the end of the day. So you should put those good ideas into their head, right? There are some parents that don't let their kids watch TV, movies at all, and that's totally awesome. Like, I wish I was that motivated to do a lot more, but you know, it just, it is what it is. It's, we live in America and a lot of parents let their kids watch TV and either way there's nothing wrong with either decision um, but yeah I don't like I find my kid not asking for a bunch of stuff that they don't even know like they think they need it or want it like there was one time like we had the TV on and a commercial came on and right away I want that and I was like whoa pull the reins horsey all right <laughs> like, Wow, I like whoosh, dodged a bullet with that one, in my opinion, for my family. So I just chose that route and it is nice. But the point is that now there's no toy store. So where are we going to go to like look around and choose what we want? Choose, a, you know, a, I mean, Target, whatever, Walmart, but it's not as, eh, you know, how are you supposed to pick toys and there's like an automotive section <laughs> or vacuum department? Like, it's just not the same, you know? And I don't know. I feel like some people might feel this way too. If I'm the only one, you know, look at the sunblock on my face, people. What the heck is wrong with me? Clear zinc oxide, I recommend it. Best type of sunscreen for your kids. It's the safest, I think, choice. Getting like a clear zinc oxide. I forgot the brand, I like Babu or something. I don't know. I don't pronounce things. I just, you know, this brain. It's like, it's like a mush but um yeah so basically what I'm saying is I miss Toys R Us we don't watch commercials having a little bit of a meltdown about it <laughs> and um yeah I mean is it the end of the world no life goes on just move on don't judge me I don't judge you but oh wow she is making a home for this caterpillar it's like a freaking mansion. There's at least five bedrooms and three bathrooms, I'm telling you. Chef's kitchen. Mm, marble backsplash. Love it. Good job, babe. Anyway, you have yourself a beautiful day. Once again, you look stunning today. Let's see how many videos I can go with this nail polish. Just saying. <laughs> Bring back toy stars. All right. Bye.